Emily, here's the whole grand tale. The three of us talked into the night about the past and, more importantly, about the future. At first I thought she was evil incarnate, but then I realized that Carrie is the magic. She's my magic. She and Raph explained how they made all this happen. They sent me all of this beauty. So finding me might be all it takes to set everything right. Raph says he's already noticed a difference in Aunt Carrie. She wants to take me away from here. Not to Synthasia yet. There are degrees to finish and free market capitalism to plan. For now, it seems Carrie's wish is to become my family, legally speaking. Ironic, isn't it? Considering how I wanted to adopt Raph. <laughs> in a way, that might be how it all ends up. Raph won't leave Carrie, and Carrie won't leave me. So there you have it. Why are my bathrooms still filthy? I can't answer for your private privy, but if I recall right, you fired me. I fired Becca. Sadly, I cannot fire you. Why not? Appearances. So grab your mop bucket and get going. Oh, what a shame. Since I can't give you the satisfaction of firing me, I'll just have to quit. You can't do that. That's your opinion. I'm going to go ahead and gamble on my own free will. You stubborn, fanciful little girl! Stop calling me little! I'm 21! We're all half-grown human beings here, so you might as well start treating us like it. Is everything okay in here? I'm so sorry to disturb you, ma'am. I was just trying to reason with our custodial staff. It's so hard to find good help in this economy, isn't it? Custodial staff? A charity student. I gave her a home, a job, an education. It's really all you can give a young person with no family. A uh, no family, you say? Um, uh, well, that's quite odd since, uh, this young woman happens to be my niece. Beg pardon? Family by ties, not by blood, right, Sarah? Oh. I understand. This is some vagrant you hired to trick me. Carrie Ford, entrepreneur and occasional poor money manager. However, I happen to be quite prosperous at the moment. In fact, I plan to use that prosperity to make up to this young woman for all the heartache she's endured under your establishment. In that spirit, I hope to move Raph and Sarah off campus. I hope you understand. Well, I... Yes, I hope you understand that it would be much less effort for me to get you fired. But I am going to move Raph and Sarah away from you and under your thumb. I'll just leave you to it then. Twain had it wrong. It's really the princess and the pauper all in one. Assuming the best and the worst are always in one person. I was always the latter. I couldn't be both without Becca. Who is this Becca? Someone I really want you to meet. Just a minute, Sarah. Is that where you compose messages to your father? I used to. When Papa died, Emily never stopped listening. She's the closest I could get to telling him. You know... I have a message to leave. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. I can't assure you that your princess will always be well off, but I can promise you she will never be alone. Goodbye, my brother. Now I'd like to meet your Becca.